It's been 43 days since I found myself waking up on a street bench with no recollection of my name, age, or where I was. But the real issue with this place I'm in is that it's been 43 days since I've seen anyone move. I live in a world of statues. No one moves, breathes, twitches, or even blinks. I am surrounded by people, but so very, very alone. It's a calm but lonely world I live in. I've tried waking people up, but nothing works. What I wouldn't give for someone to move, to talk back, to blink. Sometimes I get the feeling I'm being watched, but I don't think I've gone crazy. Not yet at least. Not yet. That's why I decided to start this journal. I think it will keep me sane in an insane world. What are you doing here? Hello? Well, I'm gonna go out for the day. You don't go anywhere now, okay? See you later. Hello, Earl. How are you today? Still brain dead, I see. <laughs> uh, so today is the 43rd day of being here, and I decided to celebrate by starting this journal. Want one? Oh yeah, I forgot, you're on a diet. Well, more for me. So I was thinking last night, what am I gonna do after I eat all the food at the grocery store? Any guesses? Nothing? Well, looks like I'll have to become a cannibal, Earl. No, I'm kidding, I'd never eat you. But there was this guy at my house the other day. I don't know what he was doing there, but if I ever do get too hungry, I gotta say, he'll be the first to go. Jeez! Well, it's been nice talking to you, world, but I got a date to get to. I'll leave those there with you. See you tomorrow, world. Same time, same place. So I'm all ready to leave, you know, go about my day. And all of a sudden I open my door and bam, this guy's standing right in my doorway. And I'm like, where'd you come from? I know, that's what I thought at first, but nope, he was real. Just sitting there staring at me with his dead eyes. Kinda like you are now. No, I'm I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Your eyes are beautiful. I would I can hear you breathing, hello? I've been stuck in the city for 43 days and... Must have been the wrong number. Well, Earl, it's happened. I finally lost my mind. Remember yesterday I was telling you about that guy at my doorstep? Well, today, 
Today I, uh, I don't know why are your eyes closed. God damn it, Earl, not you too! Life is strange. All I've wanted was for someone to move, and now that they are, I'm terrified. Terrified for my life. I must be dead. This must be what purgatory is. I don't know why I'm still writing in this journal, because no one will ever find it here. I guess all that's left to say is, I'm prepared to wait, God. I'm prepared to wait. and that you can move, so just whatever your plan is, give up! I just give up! I'm done. I surrender. Take these. You'll feel better. 43 hours. That's very impressive. I could have gone longer if you hadn't taken me out of it. <laughs> you resorted to autopilot. We can't perform research with subjects that grow accustomed to the tests. Tests? It seems so real. It wasn't. Well, Doc, it sure felt real. What are you doing? You still have many more tests to perform. I'm done being your lab rat. These tests will probably end up going in some file, in some box, in some shelf somewhere. I'm done. Fine. You're free to go. Your payment will be in the mail. Mr. Collins. Did it really feel real? As real as this conversation does. What are you people actually doing here? You're free to go now, Mr. Collins. Thank you. 